Hello YouTube, this is the Goal Gamer, and we're back again with uh, Dragon's Dogma Dark Arisen Bitter Black Oil DLC playthrough. You know, we're uh, we're well into it now. We uh, we just kind of went through a few rooms there. You know, we killed the boss um, who we couldn't kill in the previous the, the previous previous episode, and uh, in the last episode, then we we finished off that boss and. Ah. You know, we uh, we done a couple of areas. We kind of had to run through them though because we were, you know, getting kind of invaded by the by the boss monsters. Um, so we're gonna go back. We're gonna kind of just loot the place and then we're gonna continue on to the next area. Oh look, this is rolling away. Gear level one, pretty damn useless if you ask me. Oh shit, I hate these guys. In fact, I hate nearly every enemy. It's so annoying. Uh, we went up there, we looted up there. There should be two swordsmen though, I believe. Odd. So they spawned behind us. So they're here now, but they weren't here when we walked up here. Or daggers. Oh wow. So yeah, they one hit me too. I think a lot of the enemies of this part kind of one hit you. Uh, perhaps it's um, it's better to you know switch to a, a class that can't get one hit, like uh, one of the tanker classes, because these are very offensive classes. Can we freeze both of these guys? Yes, we can. And he just ruined it. I just froze him, and he, the other guy just, you know, broke him out for no reason. Magnus, why are you so stupid sometimes? Just cast your shit and be done with it. What is he doing? Oh, I can't actually freeze them anymore. Magnus, stop being so silly. Come on, help. Help and cast something. Why are you running away? Don't just stand there and do nothing. Good, good, Magnus. I like the way the guy actually that hit me one time there took me from like full health to down to 20%. I just can't do any damage here. Maybe because the stupid the stupid buffs are If you can get off one more cast it would be great. He's kind of an incompetent um Mage. Like he just like runs around like an idiot. Hmm. Well, I guess I'll climb up here then. Okay, they lost Tiger on me. Oh, I can freeze them now. We 
Can I get the other guy too? So if I can freeze him, I can get Magnus. It's ridiculous how I can do zero damage, though. Whew, it's super frustrating. Okay, got a bit of health back. Maybe I can survive one hit, and, uh... Of course, I got stamina. This is so damn frustrating, it's... He's just moving- oh, for fuck's sake. Just the worst designed- designed uh, damage calculation system in any game ever. You know, whatever, I don't care. There's the two egg stones we had used already just because of the stupid two enemies that will give us nothing because they decide to give them stupidly high defenses so anyone of the proper leveling gear can't even kill them. In fact, we're out leveled and out geared and we still can't hurt them. Okay, Magnus, now just cast anything that isn't junk and kill them. Okay, fire. You know, cast it at one of them. Okay. Two of them. Dead. Possibly the most frustrating part of this game ever. You know, every everything in this game would be ten times better if there wasn't the stupid damage threshold system. Whoever is silly enough to include that in their in their game that they're developing, you know, deserves to have a miserable sale. Okay, so this is the last guy, then we can loot the place, and hopefully we get something that makes up for this miserable experience. And you know what I hope doesn't happen? I hope that um, that Magnus doesn't continue attacking the joints to try and feed, free them. I know he's stupid, but he can't possibly be that stupid. Well, I won't take anything away from Magnus, because he is a pretty powerful guy, but Jesus, he's, he's pretty damn dumb too. The AI, the AI is pretty. Is it, the AI is so excellent at points too, though the way that like you'll sometimes like perform little combos with you, but then it's so stupid sometimes where you'll be trapped and instead he'll go around looting. Like he, you'll you'll be trapped in the, the mouth of like a, one of those man eater yokes, and uh, he'll um he'll he'll go ahead and loot something, loot a chest somewhere, and I'm like, but dude, he's getting I'm eating getting eaten alive. Um, this feeble mind is weak to sorcery. At least we're, you know, able to avoid any of the joints in here. There's a chest right there, I'll get that open and climb up and uh, get up to the ledge. The ledges are above the giants and would allow you actually to completely cheese the giants. The only problem is I do no damage to them, so even if I could cheese them... Uh, so even... No, I can cheese them, and even though I can cheese them, I still can't cheese them because I can't do any damage to them anyway. So if I was to fight them fairly, it would be impossible. If I was to fight them unfairly, it would take hours. Literal uh, lordly cloak. I've never seen that one before. Perhaps it's super strong. I don't know. Um, honestly, we don't have great cloaks. We got this one. This one I'm wearing is okay. The one he has is, is average. It's actually um, it's actually like a base game cloak, but upgraded to Dragonforged. So, 
Like, I mean, like, he can't, we can't Dragon Forge his gear, but we can Dragon Forge our gear and give it to him, so, I mean, I guess if I change to a Sorcerer, I could equip all of his gear, and then, you know, fight a Dragon and get a Dragon Forge, but the problem is, it is a pretty low percent to be Dragon Forge, outside of, like, I think, like, a couple of fights, like the Dark Bishop and, and Grigori, so, you know, it might be a waste of time, you'd have to kill a few Dragons to just... And there might be that one piece that'll just not get upgraded. And I mean, do I really care enough about that little damage to go through that effort? I mean, it is a game. You're meant to have fun. Now, that's that's actually the forgotten... Um, what's this place called? Let me uh, let me have a look at the map. The Forgotten Halls. Uh, so, yeah. That's actually the Forgotten Halls done. Now, we can, we can move in here... We can go right and talk to the merchant, which we're going to do, because we need to we need to rest. We need to have a look at that billboard he has, and we definitely need to see if anyone's uh, if anyone's rented our pawns. Probably not, because because you know I get like two viewers per video, so it's not like anyone that sees the video is going to rent the pawns. Or maybe they do, and if they do, thank you. Uh, no, thank you. I want to deposit first all of these items. Not many, we didn't get because we skipped the first area. Uh, but um, we got another Macabre sculpture. We've quite a few of those now. I want to deposit these. These can these don't weigh a lot, but they can sometimes weigh a lot. Depends on the lowerly cloak. That's actually um, five percent holy resistance. That's not bad. That's not bad at all. But uh, six six is is kind of bad. So uh, we want to buy. Uh, buy, sell, buy. Not sell. Buy. Yay. Okay, he actually doesn't hasn't restocked yet, so we can buy the vivifying vivif this because we didn't buy the first time. It's very expensive. It completely heals the party, but it weighs a lot. Oh. Those open the doors in the first area. Unfortunately, the the loot in there is. Isn't great. We should be comparatively safe. Kill death. And get the Boots of Shadow. Now, as far as I know, Boots of Shadow are like the second best set in the game, the Shadow set. For rogues, but killing death is gonna be something we do, I think, maybe a bit later. If I'd ever if we ever do it. It's one of four like main bo actual bosses in in this game in this area DLC area. We've the um just who we've killed the gazer and the, the the dark bishop. We've met death a few times, but we haven't killed him. And uh, who else? Oh, the last boss. But I won't spoil that on you. And uh, I don't think it's a spoiler to say that there's a last boss, as there is in literally every game ever that have bosses. Okay, it looks like that's what we what we have done. You know, that's what we can do right now. So I guess we're moving on. I'm a huge fan of these boots, though. They boost strength by 39, which is huge. I mean, for boots. Mark each step well. Treasure, perhaps. Uh, no, I don't. Stand firm. But the oh god, it's a minotaur. What the hell? Why is this guy here? We can freeze the Minotaur, actually. Oh, you know what we can do? Sweet. Is he stun locked? Oh shit. <laughs> That's crazy. Can we finish him off now? Can we freeze him? Yeah, that would be great. Oh no, we're bow is holy. We can stagger him by hitting him in the head though. Yay, he's dead. Great. Got us to level up too. I don't want to go in here either of these doors because they spawn enemies and 
Honestly, they, they don't give really good loot. I think there's one chest in each. Uh, wait, there's chest here. I hate spiders though, they give you the torpor slowdown and the poison. Debilitations. Two debilitations, which I really hate. Now I gotta be careful here, because tons of the corrupted pawns. If you can kill this guy, that would be great. Got Magnus level. Got a chest. What? How did we just get one hit? Is that even a thing? Well, it is a thing. We're playing Dragon's Dogma, which is like pretty much the one hit simulator. Dude, they have healers as well. Go on, Magnus. Actually, do something. Don't stand there. Why do you run away? Look, they get healed. This is such bull. And I can't attack them through the wall, but they can attack me through the wall. Right. Now I'm going to go down here, and I'm gonna, I don't know what I'm going to do. Activate this. No, I want to activate it. Not, not activate it. I was hoping that would hit someone, but it doesn't hit anything. I see him. I see him. I see him. I see him. Now that the mages are gone, we can actually kill the other guys, but they still can one hit us. So, yeah, I have no idea how I'm going to get up that ladder without getting one hit. Or is there is there even a ladder? Oh, there is here. I guess we could heal up and kind of hope that they don't use one hit moves. Oh, why would why would they why would they stop using moves that can one hit us? We can use the auspicious entrance to get both, both me and Magnus up. I'm hoping I can stun them, but evidently stunning is is not a uh, is not a thing because obviously archers are immune to stun because you know reasons, but whatever. Go on, Magnus, you can do it. I hope Magnus gets this cast off. Why does he always just self buff himself? Why does he like never actually attack enemies? Go on, finally. Cast this please. Congratulations. Go on, cast it. Quick. Finally, whoa. I mean, I do have the experience boosting when you when you do damage thing. There's some loot around here, so I guess we'll loot this. Oh, let strain your eyes against the dark. We may not be alone. This looks interesting. Oh, why, why? Oh wow, it worked. He actually got it. He actually done it. I am so proud of Magnus. 
Can we kill this guy? Finally? With the new weapons? Come on, we can do this. Why is my character not attacking it? Just for the sake of it, just... We done it, we done it. 15k experience, not bad. We, I'm just kinda happy we done it. Cause honestly, we, we had so much trouble with those things. But he freed me straight away, you know, and it worked, we got it down. Mainly thanks to the melee damage though, cause that melee damage is really strong now. Oh, wow. Hey there, ghost. The memory of Grete. Silent hearted, dragon forged. Care of gold and wheel of tempered steel. You ransom me from the village burnt to ash. Instilled life and fight. Dearest mentor, I commend you now to rest eternity. Servant, bereft of master and memory, I keep now my son. She lives on, your mirror in soul and body both. I will not lose her as we have lost her. This I swear before your age of guilt. I hear death music. Um, that is, um, that, I think this is a story thing, that's why I'm not talking, because I don't want to be rude and cut across the story guy, and I think Rete is story stuff. Because the ghost is there, you see. Usually we only get dead bodies. No. Oh god, I hate these things. Death is, is a very very obnoxious enemy in that he makes you run all the way back to um to where you started from to in order to just um you know to play the game again because your pawn gets gimped. No, I, I don't actually I don't trust that. Okay, I should trust it probably. What about here? Man eater? No. Weapon level two. Thank you, game. Now, fortunately for me, there's not much loot in this area, I don't believe. In the, um, the Gutter of Misery, which I think was, I believe was the last uh, iteration of this map, there was nothing anyways. Oh shit, death is down there. Now, I guess that means I'll go this way. Oh, are you serious? We just got invaded. And um, by the way, invaded means, you know, that we got monsters. So. Oh god, an ogre and death? Nah, thank you. I appreciate the offer, though. I hope uh, Magnus survives. Okay, wow. Please, please have Magnus here. Oh, for, why is Magnus not here? Damn it. Oh, we can't even repair. We, so we need to go all of the way back with Magnus. Stand against me or speak your wish. Offer your beloved in forfeit, and I shall see your will done. Choose. How am I to choose? The 
the matter my answer? The price is dead. Hollow choice. Who am I to stand as arbiter of two lives? Two so what would you have me do? You brought me here. You. If this be the will of the gods, the order of the world, then damn the lot of them! Yeah. I'll tear the whole of it asunder! Very well. If that be your wish, I shall claim my price. Stop! No! Ooh, scary. Screams. Oh, look, statue over there. I guess that's it. The um, the that scene done. Uh, I didn't want to talk across it because it, I think it has. A little, it's part of the story. I don't like skipping story. Uh, yeah. So Ma Magnus died, and that's the exact reason, you know, proven why I hate death as as and I hate. <laughs> that's why I don't want to fight him because, well, you know, he's gonna kill the, the pawn after run all the way back, and now I have to really run all the way back, and I didn't even fight him. I skipped him, and I, and he still killed my pawn. He does that, and it's ridiculous. It's such a bad, it's such bad design, such such bad design. I'm really annoyed by it. Um, because now we have to run all the way back just to fight this one guy that we could have taken, anyways. So yeah, guys, thank you very much for watching. This is, uh, I think, this is like episode six. Uh, we're only, we're we're not very far from the final boss now. We're already doing pretty well. Uh, so guys, I hope you enjoyed it. Um, and uh, you know.